Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are back here at Flanagan in Simi Valley. Got the body painted up. It's it's like a 10 foot body, meaning it looks good from like 10 feet away. I'm not very good at painting, but I'll get better. It is warm out today, so we do have to watch for rattlesnakes. I put the install of the servo and the painting of the body at the end of the video as not everybody loves to see that. Already noticeably different, not having so much weight. Steering is so nice. And I do have to work on getting some bumpers on this thing, so I'm gonna build them actually. So we'll see how that goes. So much better. Just shedding that weight off really made a huge difference. You guys saw my last video when I first got this thing. It couldn't keep up on this area. It would just roll over immediately. I don't really think it's gonna do much better on this, but we'll try it. So 
it's too steep. we go would have never been able to do that before that really tall steep rock face that it couldn't do anything really last time see if there's like a brake adjustment on these when it goes into neutral when you let off the gas it just rolls down I'm not gonna sacrifice the body today let's go to find another area Nice. See if we can go down it. this other line over here.
more of a 10 scale line, but we'll see. Almost lost it. Hanging up on the diff. tire drops off and then you're screwed let's go find something else That's a 10 scale line for sure when it made it. Whoa. Mm, first roll. Well, that was super fun. Tested it out with the new body, new servo, servo rocks. Glad I have a lighter body on there now. I'll work on my paint skills later on. I don't really care too much, to be honest. Maybe I'll pay someone else to paint it next time. Got a new servo for the SEX6. It didn't do too well on the trail, steering wise. So we got the NSD RC 2500 version two. And this is $250, it's a lot of freaking money. But if you get the reefs, it's like $449, I think. All they gave you was a box and it just told you the operating voltage and all the specs, but they didn't give you any instructions whatsoever. So red and black is, I'm gonna assume power because I can't find any specs, but I mean, whatever. I'm not a full-time RC guy. This will be the steering input so what we did before was we just over -volted the original servo i took it out and the way we over -volted it was a bec so i slashed on some power cables to this bec and i programmed it to the maximum voltage this stock servo would take before it crapped out 
and it never crapped out, but it was still slow. It also overvolted the transfer case servo. All we need to do today is connect this to power, cut these leads here and connect it to power, install it, and then put this into the steering slot there. So if you remember in the previous video, I depinned this power cable, which isn't for throttle, but what it does is it comes from the ESC and it powers everything. So when I removed that, I was giving power from the BEC to the steering and here. So I'm just going to put it back in place. We should be good. All right, we're gonna center the servo. And the way I'm gonna do that is power on the remote, four cell battery, and a fully charged four cell is 16.4, I believe. And this is good for 16.8. So if you're running a four cell in these cars, you're good to go. So here's the four cell battery I'm using. It's just a cheapie on Amazon for a XT90 fitting. We'll power this guy on, plug in the servo. And if you look at the servo, So now it's centered. Now you know it's centered. Now we'll install it. Comes with a pretty beefy arm. So that's kind of nice. And it's going to be positioned like this and forward. So we're going to, and it's already centered. So we're just going to slap this guy on. So here's the first snag. And I read about this. If you buy these cars new, they have an extra steering bracket. And what I'm talking about is the steering bracket right here. So there's an extra steering bracket for a fifth scale servo that mounts it backward. And guess what? This is for the stock configuration and the other one should be where my fingernail is. So now I'm on a halt. Just got the package in. This is what I ordered. That's the part number. It comes with the engine cover, seals, and the front servo mount. So here is the stock mount, and here is the fifth scale servo mount. And you can see the fifth scale is a little longer, so that's what we'll be using. Got the cover on. I'm just going to zip tie the wires. The servo, so that's nice. So after we installed the servo for the SCX6, now we got a good servo. We now move over to the body. And I got a cliffhanger body. If you guys aren't familiar, that is what it looks like. And it's quite a bit of work to fit it on here, but it's also a lot of weight saving, so. All of these get removed, the bumper, everything gets removed. You can do custom stuff with your bumpers, and I probably will, but this is just a step-by-step -step basis. The battery will now go here, and it will get strapped around here. I'll have to make an extension for that, but let's get these off. We'll prep the body for paint. We're gonna leave the bumpers on for now until we get the body cut out and kind of test fit. So let's get that cut out now.
So if you look here, this is what it looks like. If you look in here, this is where the back bumper sits. Here's where the front sits. But everything's kind of straight up and down, left and right. So now we just need to make it work. So first things first, there's several ways to mount this and we're gonna order a body mount kit. So we're gonna get that in and then we're going to fit it and then paint it. Then we'll worry about the bumpers. See what we're gonna do. Good thing is the departure and the approach angle will be really nice. So I ordered this, it's the optional body post set. That's the part number, that's what I got. And this is for the SCX6 and it's just basically so you can mount any body that they have available on a post. There's four posts here made into the axial frame and you kind of just play a guessing game because they don't know where you're going to put the body. So what I have chosen is on this front, I'm going to put it here, it'll land right here, 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 and here, and it will use the same body pose. All right, so we got the body mounts installed and the body cut out for the body mounts. So we're gonna do this first. We're gonna trim it out for the windows. So let's do that now. taped up who knows how this will look to be honest with you i just want to have paint on the body and not just drive a clear body i'm not a paint expert now they all got all those taped up i just got to cut these out Got it all painted up black, let it dry for a day, peel that off, paint these gold. I don't know why I chose gold, but whatever. And then we'll paint that gold and then I'll paint everything white. Hopefully that doesn't look terrible with the white under the black. I'm gonna double check on that. 